WBBM FM, Chicago. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint Gum from time to time every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will too. Now, Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. In America, everybody's got everything. Everybody's a savers of money, so he can buy a refrigerator, washing a machine, a dishwasher, and a vacuum clean. Seems like everybody here has got these things. People who can afford, they buy. People who not can afford, they go on a quiz program. There's <laughs> <laughs> another big American thing. Everybody has got a car. They got all the kinds of here. There's a sedan, a trailer, trucks. And America's so rich, they even got a car for chickens. That's called a coop. <laughs> oh, a car is a wonderful thing. Remember, Mama, me in the old country during the war, how American boy is taking me for driving his car? Well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was something like a cement mixer. He's called it a jeep. <laughs> oh, remember me. How that the car is a shaker. Remember once how we go for a ride, me, Uncle Pietro, and his goat? And when we come back, I'm losing my watch. Uncle Pietro's loses his teeth. The goat is refused to give him milk for three days. <laughs> well, after one year, I'm going to save $100. And now I'm going to make it through my dream. Of course, with $100, I'm not going to afford the new 1952 car. I'm, I'm going to have to be satisfied with the maybe 51. Yeah. But right now is the time... It's a time for my night school class. I'm going to go to my school, ask my teacher, Miss Spalding, for advice about the buying a new car. Joseph, a wonderful thing if you'll only do what you call. All right, class, all right. Let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Absent. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're present. Why do you say absent? I just want to create a sensation. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow poopers. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Yeah. Schultz, you can stop bowing. Now, class, our lesson... Uh, yes, Mr. Basco, what is it? Well, uh, Miss Bunning, today is a big day in my life, and, and I'm like it so much if, if the class is going to help me. Well, certainly, Mr. Basco. What is it? Well, I'm... I'm... I'm like it to buy a car very much, and I'm a one... A car? Oh, Luigi, it's a big shot. <laughs> big shot is an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, why don't you wait until after the bell? I'm sure one of your classmates can help you in the selection of a car. Now, class, our lesson for today is spelling, and we're going to study words which contain letters that we don't pronounce. Now, Mr. Basco, will you volunteer to spell the word knife? All right, the knife. Uh, K-N-I-F, and the E is a silent <laughs> well, not exactly. Uh, Mr. Schultz, will you try? Well, I try, but I don't give a guarantee. Uh, knife. B. Uh, uh, just a moment, Mr. Schultz. There's no B in knife. This is a Boy Scout knife. <laughs> <laughs> Class, I will spell the word K N I F E. That's Kniffy. 
No, the word is knife. K is the silent letter. K is always silent in front of N. Oh, is that so? What about knotwurst? <laughs> Please. Now, will someone in the class give us an example of another word with a silent letter? Yes, Mr. Olson? Uh, in the sentence, I gnash my teeth. Nash is spelled ye n a s a h, and the, the ye is silent, preceding the n. Ooh, what a show off! <laughs> if I was so smart, I'd shoot myself. Please, Mister Shaw, that was excellent, Mister Olson. Uh, excuse me, Miss Pudding. I'm I'm always know that the Nash has a silent motto, but this is silent a g. That's in a, the nineteen fifty two model only, or is it? Uh... <laughs> of a man I like, a dumbbell. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Basco. I can see you can't get your mind off cars. Can anyone here tell Mr. Basco where to get a car? Luigi, why don't you go down to Automobile Row on Ketchum Street? Ketchum Street? Yeah, but be careful with those dealers. Huh? On account of them, my brother Ludwig got the best buy in his life. In three years, he's never had a flat, never had to change a spark plug, never uses any oil. No trouble at all. But sure, so what did he buy? A horse and wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I'm getting a little tired of your... <laughs> Sometimes they act like a lot of little school children. Canuck verse. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm, I'm likely to buy a car here. Oh, yes, sir. You uh, picked the right lot. Got just what you want. $2,300, $2,700, $3,500, anything you like. Drive it right out. How much do you want to spend? $100. Uh. <laughs> well, come on around here, around the back. We might find something for you. All right, sir. Now, there we are. Here's a fine selection of cars around the $100 class. Uh, nice, huh? Uh, yeah, it looks uh, just like a museum. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Just what kind of car did you have in mind? Uh, how about a convertible? Do you like to ride with the top down? Uh, no, I'm always wearing my hat. <laughs> uh, oh, well, how about, uh, how about this car here? Do you like it? It's an old. No, it's a too old. <laughs> Mister, did you ever drive a car before? Well, uh, a long time ago in the other country. I see. Buddy, I got just the car for you. Here it is. A Stutz. Hardly been used in the last 32 years. <laughs> it's a good, huh? Oh, it's sensational. And it's not like any ordinary car. This car is different. No windshield, no bumpers, no radio, no heater, no spare tire, no fuel pump. Just a good, honest set of used parts. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I'm, I'm not sure you've got the money. If you've got it, put up or shut up. That's no. the American way. American way. Well, sure, sure. I'm going to get it the way. Oh, oh that's the ticket. Well, yeah. here's the bill of sale. Sign right here. Yeah. You got a driver's license? Uh, no. No, but, I, but I'm going to drive. Okay. Well, then drive right down to the city hall and get a learner's permit. Hop in. Hop in that's your right. car. That's right. <laughs> We stand behind every car we sell. <laughs> Only way we can push them off the lot. <laughs> Get that? Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. 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 Hey, Mama me, I'm going faster. Three, four, five miles an hour. <laughs> Hey, Luigi, my friend. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. 
Sí, hola, hola. Hola, Pascal. Hey, Pascal, let's take a look. What do you think? What's happening, Luigi? You got a job in a circus? <laughs> what are you talking about, Pascal? I'm just to buy myself a car. What does it look like? How many guesses do you give me? Ah, uh, you just saying that because because I didn't need any help from you. Ah, uh, no help from me, eh? Hey, hey, why are you putting those two blocks under the front wheels? That's a new invention. It's emergency brakes. <laughs> Pasquale, I, I know it's not the best car, but, but at least it's, it's all of mine. Now I can drive down the street. Everybody's going to say, look at Luigi. He's looking like a real American. That's all right. In that car, you look like a real American. A Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell me something, Luigi. You got auto insurance? Uh, insurance? What's that? Well, it's like a life insurance, only you don't get paid until the car dies. <laughs> Looking on your car, I think somebody's already collected. <laughs> then I don't need the insurance. Oh, but this insurance is much more important. That's for accidents. Now, they got a single indemnity. That's if you hit a one person. Then there's a double indemnity. That's if you hit twins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hit the nobody. What are you talking about? You got a car? Use it. <laughs> But, Pascal, I'm, I'm just to spend all of my money on my car. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to afford this insurance. Oh, Luigi, that's bad. Bad? Bad, that's a catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, little cabbage puss, you got an operator's license? Oh, what for? I'm going to need an operator's license. I'm not going to work for a telephone company. <laughs> that's to show how stupid you are. Operator license is a mean when you hit somebody, you got a license to operate on them right away. <laughs> that's what I mean. You ain't got that either. No, I'm not got that neither. I'm, I'm not got the... Oh, Pascal, all I'm got is a line is a permit and, and a book of the rules to study. What am I going to do, huh? Maybe I'm, 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 I should have never bought this car without asking you advice first. Ah, that's the first the smart thing I heard since we started talking. Luigi, when I see you look so sad, my heart is a melted like a Parmesan cheese and a hot spaghetti. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to pay you auto insurance. I see through it. You get an operator license, your driver license, and instead of this old jalopy, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. But was, you're going to do all of this for me, Pascal? But, uh -huh. but, but, but why? Well, because maybe you do me a little favor. <laughs> <laughs> huh? A little favor? What, the, what kind of favor you want I'm sure to do you? You know the favor. You got to marry Rosa, that's all. Now, please, please, <laughs> just for a little while... Mary Rosa, you'd be surprised at how my little flower she's going to grow on you. But the way you do this, if I, I'm going to want to be a flower pot to Pascal. <laughs> all right, all right, you big stupid. Now, I'm going to tell you something. They never give you a driver's license for that old wreck you bought. You're lucky if you stay out of jail, you know? Well, well I'm a jail. What that's I'm all right. When you start them. driving through the streets like a crazy man, chasing people down the cellars, off the roofs, <laughs> running for their lives, you know what's going to happen in the newspaper headlines? What? What? The Chicago story? is a hit by a new atom bomb. Mamma mia. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that may be a real aid to your success and popularity. Chew a few sticks of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum every day. Here's why that's such a good idea. You see, besides giving you enjoyment, chewing Wrigley Spearmint Gum helps keep your mouth fresh and your breath sweet. And that's important. Then, too, the chewing action helps keep your teeth clean and bright and your smile attractive. And that's a help in making a good impression on other people. So chew a few sticks of Wrigley Spearmint Gum every day, as millions of people do. Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum is refreshing, delicious, and you'll really enjoy it. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. So, 
So, Mamma Mia, though I'm realizing my big ambition to own a car like a real American, I'm afraid this is going to bring me a lot of trouble. Three times a today, street cleaning department has tried to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest trouble I'm have, but the biggest of all, is in reading the rule of book and trying to learn the traffic rules for my driving the test. Mamma Mia, what the rules Put a hand out to for left, a turn, a hand out to for right, a turn, a hand out to for stop, a hand out to for go. Mamma mia, this book must be for men with four hands. <laughs> In another hour, I gotta go take my diving lesson. Hello, Luigi, my little friend, my countryman. What's new with you? Pasquale, you, 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 you no mad at me no more? Me mad on you? Oh, shame on you, Luigi. You should have known me better than that. You know, there's a two sides to my face. <laughs> well, one side is a mad on you, the other side is a glad on you. You know that. Are you so right, Vascari? That's why everybody's calling you two-faced. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> hey, hey, what's that pamphlet you're reading? <laughs> well, Vascari, I say... Uh, I'm going to go for a driver's test in an hour, and I, I'm studying the rules uh, uh, so that I'm sure to pass. Luigi, I'm going to help you out. There's nobody knows more about the driver's test than me. I took it ten times. <laughs> <laughs> well, then uh, maybe you tell me, Pascali, all through this book is this word, the vehicle. That's a V E H I C L E. <laughs> You're lucky you got me to explain you. That's a vehicle. <laughs> that's to mean a car what's a drunk. <laughs> no, I, I, that's what they call auto intoxication. <laughs> See, there's a lot of things I can teach you. Say, say you drive in your car and you hit a man inside of his home. What's that called? What? Home in the side. <laughs> Big punishment that goes up for that. They stamp on your license, must to wear glasses. Oh, Pasquale. Pasquale, thank you. Then, then, now maybe I'm going to have a chance to pass the test. Tell me, Pasquale, what, what they mean by, by zones? Oh, that's simple. Uh, driving a car, Luigi, is like a game. There's uh, three kinds of zones. Uh, T-zone, free zone, and end zone. <laughs> uh, if, if you hit a man in the T-zone, he's not going to smoke no more. <laughs> And, uh, and if you're hitting the end of zone, they push your car back five yards. And what's the free zone? That means you can park for nothing. <laughs> now, now, look, Luigi, take the traffic lights. There's a green light, that's a for go. Red light, that's a for stop. And what's the yellow light for? That's a for women to drive as if they can do whatever they want. <laughs> Thanks, thanks so much for your help. Don't mention it, Luigi. You just give these answers like I'm going to tell you, and you're going to be fixed up for good. <laughs> Next applicant. Uh... Pardon me, mister. You've been sitting there for two hours. Uh, what are you waiting for? Oh, well, you've been calling for people who's want that applicants. I'm waiting till you call the people who's want a driver's license. All right. Take your learner's permit to booth seven over there, and the inspector will give you your test. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Lady. Booth the seven. Eh? Oh, there is. Mamma mia, how am I going to drive my car in that little boat? <laughs> oh, excuse me, mister. Yeah, have a seat. You got your car outside? Yeah, I'm a car. Yes, yes. All right, I'll ask you a few routine questions. First, explain your hand signal. Oh, sure. To make a signal, you got to stick out of your left hand. First, you got to let the window down. <laughs> left hand is a signal, a right to turn, a left to turn, and a pass. That's the word of the palm down. The palm down. When do you stick your hand out with the palm up? That's only when you want to see if it's raining. <laughs> Are you sure you can drive a car? I should, I'm sure. Well, let's go on outside for the road test. All right, sir. That's, it. That's it, my car. 
Look, it says over there. Is that your car? Uh-huh. I think we have a law covering that. <laughs> Let me look in my book under the seas. Condemned. <laughs> hmm, they must have overlooked this model. Well, let's get in. All right. Does this car always sag like this? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's only when the people is a sit, isn't it? <laughs> okay, start it up. All right. Yeah, choke it, choke it. Choke it, what am I going to grab it? <laughs> yeah, pull the choke out, there. Oh. All right, it's out there now. Where am I sure to put it? <laughs> His step on the gas. Hey, hey, the car is gone. See if it works. Is it going to good, huh? Hey, if it's a two windy, you ask me, I'm a stop and I put in the windshield. Hey, never mind. This is like going through D Day again. <laughs> yeah, all right, there's a sign. It says no U turn. What does that mean? Well, uh, and no U-turn. Well, if it's a mean no U-turn, that's a mean it's a my turn. <laughs> hey, look, mister, uh, there's a stop a sign. You want him to shoot a stop? I dare you. <laughs> of course, stop. Stop right on the corner of First Street. First Street? All right. <laughs> said First Street, not Second Street. <laughs> well, I was a close. <laughs> not so good, huh? Hey, <laughs> to Mr. Moore. Well, watch me on a signal. Didn't you see that car behind you? Where's your rear view mirror? Well, what the fuck? I'm in the rear mirror. I'm going to want to see who's behind me. I'm going to look like this and I'm... Hey, look out in front of you. Look out. <laughs> Mamma mia, car is a stopper. But inspector, he's a keeper gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Vasco, the test is over. You ride back, I'll walk. No, 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 don't no, no, walk. I'm, I'm going to be so happy to drive you back into my car. What are you, a sadist? It's a nice day. The sun is shining. I got a wife and four kids. I'll walk. <laughs> well, all right. All right, if you want to, you walk. I'm a driver. When you get there, wait for me. <laughs> Too bad, and he was doing so well. <laughs> Luigi, my... Luigi, what are you doing with that steering wheel in your hand? <laughs> huh? Well, it's funny. I'm, I'm just taking my drive as a test. Look, honey, your hair all mussed up, clothes are dirty and torn, a face all banged up, walking with a limp. You don't look like a driver. You look like a pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? It's all a mixed up. <laughs> All I know is that when I was driving back to the license bureau myself, car is come on me, Pascal. I'm a, I'm a signal for stop. I'm a put out the boat to my hands. But it's a big, big crash. That's terrible, Luigi. It's all my fault. I'm a put my left hand out to the left window. But my right hand wasn't long enough to reach out of the right window. <laughs> Tell me something. Uh, did you got your driver's license? Pasquale, not only am I going to get my driver's license, but they take away my learner's permit. <laughs> <laughs> they say I'm not going to drive for at least one year. And I'm not allowed to walk on the street for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
Luigi, Luigi. How could one man get himself into so much trouble? Believe me, Pasquale, is not easy. <laughs> but what am I going to do? Man who's a car I'm a hit, he's a say he's a sue me for everything I'm a got. Uh, worse than that, Luigi. Man has probably got a 20 years of life insurance. That means you liable to get the 20 years of the life. No, no, no. Pascal, it's clever, me, please, please. 20... Look, don't beg. I'm going to help you out of everything. Even buy a new car so you still be proud like American. Just to do me one a favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pascal, I'm going to marry your daughter. Well, say it like you mean it. Go on, she's awake. Now, call her yourself. <laughs> All right. Rosa. Rosa. Put her some feeling in it. Rosa. <laughs> yes, my little angel. You love her as a call you himself. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> So poor little Luigi was just in a terrible auto accident. What do you say to him? Luigi, you want a band-aid? Oh, shut up, you face. <laughs> well, my children, I'll give you my blessing. Are we going to tell everybody? Mr. Vasco, I'm so glad I found you in. Mama, may I touch the man who's a cat? I'm a hit. I'm going to fix everything, oh, Mr. Are you his attorney? Well, look, I admit everything. It was all my fault. I'm willing to make amends. But uh, I had no right to be driving that car. I have no driver's license, no permit, nothing. But, uh, this has taught me a terrible lesson. Mr. Basco, I'm prepared to pay for my mistake if you promise not to press suit. I'm never press the suit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm always a giver to the tailor. <laughs> but, uh, now, Mr. Basco, let's settle the whole thing right here. I'm willing to pay you whatever your car was worth. Say, $500? No. A thousand dollars? No, no, no. Okay, you've got me against the wall. How much do you want for the A hundred dollars. Oh! <laughs> A hundred dollars. Here, take it. Thank you very much. No, not the, not the, not the so fast. Is it something else? What's the matter? Were you hurt? I'm got a hole in my pants and for me accident is going to cost a 40 cents a foot of patch. <laughs> Here, Mr. Vasco. Thank you. Good night. Ooh, you dope you. Well, Pascal, thank you for teaching me about the traffic rules of your system. But, uh, Luigi, what for are you sticking out of your hand now? I'm uh, making a right to turn it back to my story. But what about Rosa? But, uh, Luigi... Goodbye, but... <laughs> Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you real chewing enjoyment and satisfaction. There's lots of lively, refreshing flavor in Wrigley's Spearmint. It's a full-bodied, long-lasting spearmint flavor that leaves a clean, fresh, pleasant taste in your mouth. Then, too, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is smooth and good to chew on. You'll really enjoy sinking your teeth into it. So at home, at work, and everywhere you go, be sure to have a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you. That handy package fits easily into your purse or pocket, ready to offer you chewing enjoyment any time and any place. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. <laughs> J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, and Sarah Berner as Mrs. Pellegrino. The music is on the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network. Is the suspect's identification on the police lineup just about the end of a case? 